Okay. Hello, and welcome to episode one of On the Back Hash Perk Talk. That's right. We are focusing only on the percussion aspect of things. My name is Cedric, and joined with me is my boy, Will. Um, So this is kind of like a spinoff or just an addition to the channel uh, where we just kind of look at some YouTube links um, of some drum lines in a lot, and not just drum lines, uh, front ensembles as well uh, in a lot. So you'll see a mixture of battery, front ensemble, and then like full perk ensemble stuff. And we're just going to watch them and just give our natural reactions. We may stop and start the video about some of this. So, and we're going to try to give as many cores love as much as possible uh, when we do this. But today, um, we're going to start off with, you got to start off with SCV. Got to. Uh, one of the <laughs> hottest drum line percussion Man. sections uh, Van- out there. Vanguard the is just, they're just, they're just on their own planet. I don't know. <laughs> they are. They are. And how they do what they do um, consistently year in, year out. And, you know, huge mm-hmm. shout out to Paul and Sandy Rennick. Just amazing things year in, year out with that ensemble. So. Uh, we found a nice little lot video of them uh, from, and it's their full show run. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna let it run as much as possible, but we probably will interject some stuff as we hear it, um, just kind of giving our natural reactions. I have not, I've seen the show, um, but I haven't seen it in just a percussion uh, context. So this yeah. is really cool. So uh, we're just gonna yeah. pull that up for us real quick. And, uh, right. I'm looking for that. And yeah. And a quick shout out to our base three, uh, 311 for the great video quality. Yeah. Video and audio. It sounds pretty good. So, yeah. All right, man. Let's get it going. All right. Man, I love their front ensembles. Uh, they just, just so weird. Boom, boom. And it'd be the simple things too, you know. Mm-hmm. Interesting choice with the Nirvana song of um, "Smells Like Teen Spirit." I, I wonder if they use that just because it's the most recognizable one, and they know the audience will pick up on it. Nice. <laughs> this is King of Himiolas, man. Two against threes, against fours, against fives, against sixes. Yeah. electronics really really well just interplaying adding more of an atmosphere soundscape than you know being the main product A lot of dissonance um, in the mallet line in this year's book, but it works really good with this particular show design.
another two mana play right there. His part. Oh my gosh, those those gear I like I call them gear changes when they the modu modulations they do those so well, like effortlessly just, a lot of just, times. point out that there is a, a front on some of focus video from the same guy mm -hmm. definitely worth checking out now as well yeah. okay this will be throwing up gang signs in this blood boy they are from Cali Impacts I highlighting the accents on that battery section right there. Mm -hmm. Nice writing. Mm. <laughs> okay, I don't think people realize how hard that is. Oh boy. Because <laughs> they're coming out of this triple, this roll pattern into parados and quick singles, and it's all modulated and dynamic. Mm -hmm. and I think this is also the part. Of, this is the part in, in the show where they're in that back corner in the left side, and they're in this circle, and the band is, or the not the band, but the core is doing visuals along with the swells and crescendos of the battery. Yeah, like that's. That's ridiculous to me. <laughs> you know, it, just from a core standpoint, for their visual designers to not only, you know, let the horn book dictate some visual things, but the percussion book as a whole, too, is, is very smart on their choice. I mean, I'm, I'm like, they don't need me to tell them it's smart. They know it's smart. That's why they did it. But yeah, just some underrated people, stuff that people may not notice, you know, at first glance. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I remember seeing it, but you don't really dissect it until you see videos like this and stuff and realize it's like you're you're coming out of like hard six lit paradiddle deals and like single strokes and stuff coming out of this triple row while you're still trying to make all this dynamic yeah. and with the core giving you a visual aspect of what they're playing musically. Come on now. Yeah. That whole, that's a moment. That's, that whole section is a moment. Yeah. Great musicianship. <laughs> <laughs> This is really see like okay well it's like SCV is the best of all time it's like no there's some there are still some gray spots yeah and a lot of stuff that they're they're still gonna have to work on and clean up or anything it's more of a uh, an appreciation for those little things and that fact that okay y'all created that idea and then you made the whole corpse 
get involved with that simple idea. Mm-hmm. And and that and, and any grade that they have, it's in a spot that um, anybody else in the country would be great to. Like it's just that hard to where they're trying to figure all that stuff out, and it, it's going to get there. You yeah. know, that's just what SEV does. They they would they challenge their kids, they push their kids, but they know they're going to fight to achieve whatever it is that he put on that piece of paper. So all the time, all the time. Nah, but to be that readable, that's great. Yeah. The kids out there watching, this is what it looks like to move together as a front yeah. ensemble. Team, team spirit again, just manipulating it a little bit. Just the ballot. This the ballot. I'm gonna need you to not break the drum. It's just the ballot. You have four more minutes of show left. I'm gonna need you to. <laughs> <laughs> you just calm down. <laughs> Best wind chime player ever. Ever. How do you acquire four or five of those? Listen. <laughs> the writing, man, is just different. Yeah. Bases calm down. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, away from him right there. Yeah. 
<laughs> they are human. They are human. Yeah. That's for sure. Spark kids. <laughs> Bring back the alien phones. Mm hmm. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I mean, what can you say? It's this excellence right there. It, and like I said, and like I said before, so they like they 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 do have a a front ensemble focus video that you can watch, catch all those notes that the front is playing. But um, it's it's just I don't I don't know of another group that is similar to their style, their look, their writing, all of that. Um, that's similar enough because I mean, they, they just stand out. And I, I, I also say the same thing about, um, BD too. It's just, it's one of those groups where if somebody told you to turn around and shut your eyes and play the video or audio, you know who they are. Yeah, it's, they, I mean, there are a few groups that kind of have a distinct style like that. SCB being one. Um, BD being one, even though this year's book doesn't sound as much like that to me as it typically does. Yeah. Um, but but they're one. Uh, Cadets in Boston are very similar. Um, they're going to play 7,000 notes in three yeah. seconds. Um, <laughs> and but it's it's smartly written. Like they don't they may cram a bunch of notes in there, but it's it's going to be done well. It's going to be done yeah. smart. Um, so you got them. And then BK is just, just very unique in their writing style too. It's, uh, it is, I, I don't, I don't even know. It's, it's like you, you have to go somewhere <laughs> to come up with some of the notes that they do. And I know I've uh, mentioned this and me and you have talked about this a couple of times before, like blue nights, man, they, they always have that one lick that they just play throughout the show. So uh-huh. It may be like two beats or, or maybe it's one beat, but it's like one little rhythm. Like I know one year they had a five of it. Um, uh, I think it was, uh, a five, it was like a tap in four shots or something. Oh. And they just oh, kept yeah, playing yeah, yeah. it. They just yeah. kept playing it over and, over and over and over and over throughout the whole show. And I was like, okay, Blue Knights. <laughs> like, you know, but that's, you know, it's very singable. Like you could, you could sing their book. You can sing an SEV book. You can, you know, those books are, are memorable because it's, it's very easy to listen to, um, you know, 
that I, when I explained to my percussion ensemble kids, when we were talking about rudiments, like rudiments are the alphabet. And it's like, you learn these and then you form words with all these rudiments. Mm-hmm. And SEV is basically just speaking another language that's all their own. That's, you know, you know, if, if you think French is the most beautiful language, then SEV's percussion is right in its French. Because exactly. it, it just lays so well and so easy to listen to. Um, and, and can be powerful. It's, mm-hmm. it's just as much powerful as, as it is lyrical um, from the front end of bat, uh, front end of batter standpoint. So, yeah, because I, I tell people all the time, I'm a big fan of groups who can make their battery sing just as much as the front ensemble or their wind ensemble, whether it's indoor or not. Mm-hmm. Especially in indoor, if you can make your indoor line battery sing without having the front on someone there, you know, you've done something major. Yeah. Cause a lot of groups, I mean, it's, it's not a diss or a knock to it, but if you just cram a bunch of notes or it's a bunch of, um, rim shots, hits or double stop, whatever. Um, it's like you said earlier, it, sometimes it doesn't become memorable unless it is that one, um, phrase in the book. And then, yeah, you remember that one phrase, but what else did the battery do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're asking yourself, like, whose show is this? So if you played it and was like, whose show is this? You probably couldn't tell because the notes are so sporadic or whatever. But if you play somebody else's show, you can you can almost sing those notes. It's like, like I was saying with BK, like when you play that one rhythm, you probably know what musical phrase or rhythm went with that note. Or with that line or bar, you can sing the horn book. That's that's the key. You can sing the horn book. So, and SEV man, they just they take such a different approach than everybody as far as beefiness and notes and whatnot. One thing I like about them, and one thing that I I I stand true or stand by is difficulty looks different to everybody. Yeah. Uh, when I write my percussion book, you're well aware of this. It's a lot of brain. Our kids don't have the best hands and the best technique, but we're gonna play things in in weird time signatures and and you know and play independently and do things to where we, if you're gonna beat us, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to play just as smart as us, mm-hmm. and you're gonna have to have better hands. Yeah. Like, um, and it works for us. Like I said, I mean, we get by, we do what we need to do, and. You know, just so happens, SEV has the brains and the brawn to to do anything that they want because you listen to their book and it may sound easy, but if you dig in, there's a lot of control in them hands. Yeah, a whole <laughs> wow. lot. And and I, and I I constantly tell people I was like, just because something sounds easy, a tempo can change that in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. You can have some of the easiest stuff. Okay, it's a tripler roll. Okay, get an entire line to do that clean at 210 get it clean at 180 though then it becomes that's where your difficulty can come in because like we can make it clean if it's like 100 beats or 120 or 140 but yeah some of the some of those it's, it's all the little stuff the inner workings and stuff that you don't uh-huh. hear because you may be so overlooking this and i know <clears throat> i know people talk a lot sometimes about uh, Music City Mystique and Indoor, they'll talk about how some t- um, people know that they have some of the easier easier book in Indoor, but yet they still winning. They are the leading winners of Indoor, of WGI, to this moment still. But they do not typically have the hardest book in WGI. Yeah. And then people are like, well, how does that work? It is it because it's more than just playing. It's, more than it's, playing. It, it, it's a whole level of stuff. And me and you, we say this stuff all the time and people will, will try to rank drum lines and rate percussions and, and drum core all the time. And I keep telling folks, I was like, are, are we forgetting that drum lines? It's not called drum drum line. It's called percussion. <laughs> so if, if the drum line is playing, but that front ensemble's not, that's why they getting beat. Yeah. And, and I keep telling people and people keep forgetting that because you got a lot of people who, 
oh, they we love BD and this, that, and the other artists. That's cool. Um, BD's drumline is playing, but their front may not be that day or that year. Same thing with Cavaliers or somebody. Cavaliers, everybody knows Cavaliers front on someone plays notes. And they're going to probably do backflips while they're doing it. <laughs> and, <laughs> but if that drumline ain't playing to that front ensemble, they're not going to go nowhere. It's a package deal. Yeah, you got to so have it, it all. It does not matter how good the battery is if the front ain't playing. It don't matter how good the front ain't playing if the battery ain't playing. It's, a, it's, it's hand in hand. And I think SEV has found a, a great package of that because you can't knock their front. When how many shows now that they keep starting the show with the front, you got to have a lot of confidence in your front to do things like mm-hmm. that. And to, to, to know that your front is going to be able to produce a bunch of sound without you blaring the speakers to cause that sound. Yeah. That's death in quality and sound. You take away the electronics of that group. You're going to get the same warmth and depth that, that out of that front ensemble. That's, yeah. that's a huge difference. And I think that's what people mis- mislead in like Mystique and Indoor. Mystique has one of the top hardest and cr- like craziest front ensembles in, in, in independent world. Even, even if the battery is not, the, doesn't play the most book or the hardest book. Yeah. It's a package because the battery is on the same level, if not above the front, but their whole package brings you, the reason why they keep getting first or why they meddle so much. It's the same thing with SCV. Why does SCV keep winning drums so many times? It's just like the last year that, um, or the last full, uh, judged season of drum corps. SCV goes what the entire season undefeated and then BD beats them in finals. Well, it doesn't matter because SCV wins semis and prelims. They already beat them twice. So, it's it's just it's just something like that that you got to have that whole package deal. BD waited too long to show up. Yeah, and that's the thing with SUV is they if they're clean in whatever year it is, it's going to be hard to beat them because everything is just so thought out and well done. Like it's it's hard it's hard to beat them if they if they're on their game. Like mm-hmm. if, if they're on their A plus game, you gotta you better find another plus or two. And that's, 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 that's to the point where you just rewrite the book yeah. and that's going to hurt, um, like, um, Boston this year. I think people are going ballistic and Gaga cause I'm kind of the same way that Boston Crusaders baseline is outrageous. Mm-hmm. And in my, in my opinion, I think they have the most notes and probably the hardest book this year. I'm, I would have to do a little more research, but at this moment, I I almost would give them that title this year. The battery but definitely is the up. battery. I need to look at the front book. Yeah, the, I, the front to see what's this, going on. Yeah, there. yeah. This is just strictly talking about the battery. This is not their front. This is just the battery only. And I think a lot of people look at their battery and it's like, oh man, Boston gonna win drums this year? No, they not. Because it's just like you said. What is that front doing? Is that front playing the same notes that the battery is playing? Is the front achieving as well as the battery? Because it's just like the battery, it's the same old, same old. You're going to write all them notes. All them notes better be clean. Period. Otherwise, BD going to win and then people going to get mad again. How did BD beat Boston in drums because <laughs> BD's not playing? you not. <laughs> it's clean. It's, it's, it don't matter. It's what, clean. They chose to wrote a book that's achievable by the kids and not for show. If Boston's going to make their book achievable, all of those kids have to be able to play all of those notes. And it's a lot of <laughs> yeah. notes. Yeah. And I mean, because all of them one handed threes and fours that they're pumping out while they're playing rolls and flandrags and taps and, and all this other inverted stuff, it's like out of nowhere. Here comes a four or five. Like, what? <laughs> and, and that was just beat two. Yeah. Of the first measure. <laughs> they just got off the bus. I'm like, wait a minute. It's like, it's like, come, it's like, come on now. But at the same time, if, if you can't do that while moving and playing, all them notes ain't going to matter. It ain't nothing but for show. So that's why I tell people, I was like, you can't get mad if, if those groups or cadets or all these other groups who 
have awesome books and great writing and everything's going well and they get beat. They turn around, BD beats them again. Yeah. SCV beats them again. You know, somebody like that or blue coats beat them again. You can't, you can't sit there and wonder It's like, because some total packages that I can throw out right now is, is Cavaliers SCV. And I would even put in blue coats as far as you're talking about total package. Mm-hmm. And then, Crazy enough, I'd still throw in Blue Devils as well. Yeah. I, I don't think BD's book is as hard as I've seen it in the past days this year. Cause I think for one, their group is is it could not be, but it looks very young. Yeah. Looks like they're in a very young year this year, but it's so well written. It's so well written. Mm-hmm. It is good, and them kids are playing it, playing it with all their heart. Yeah. But the everybody is leveled. It, it's That's not like first read. I was like, yeah. this is it's this is really good for yeah. what they're doing. And as of right now, them and SEV have been going back and forth and just looking SEV kind of look a little young as well. But um you got you gotta you gotta look at all of you. It's it's hard to just judge off of one section. You, you yeah. remember it's percussion, not battery. And it's run to run. It's run to run. All right. Before we head out, all right. Um, what is your top three that you're looking forward to watch? And we can't say SCV because we obviously that's one we want to see. But mm. what are your top three groups you're looking forward to seeing or wanting to see again? Take a little deeper look at. Uh, I'd like to take a deeper look. Number one, Madison Scouts. Okay. Or if we're talking percussion, Madison Scouts have been like really surprising me. I don't know if a lot of people have kept up with their shows, but from what I've noticed, their percussion has been at least second at every show that they've been to so far. Uh And that's pretty outstanding, you know, from the years past and what they've done and where they're moving towards. And that percussion book is very interesting. Uh-huh. Very interesting. I am. I really want to get a good solid read on it, and I cannot wait to hear that at finals in live and in person. Very Hopefully, nice. in finals. Yeah. Hopefully, they make finals. But um, um, second group would be I want to get a deeper and in depth read of Boston Crusaders. Um, I have worn out their battery. And now I would like to give a little bit more attention to the front since now I already know what's coming up from the battery. I've got moments where I know, okay, here comes this crazy lick with all of these notes or here comes this crazy um, group rock out section or whatever. So um, this time I'll give the, the more focus to the, to the front. And uh, on my third one, Tell you the truth, it's it's really a toss up between um blue knights and blue coats. Okay. Blue knights and blue coats. Um I think especially blue coats, they have just so much going on on the field. Yeah. Even as a percussionist myself, I'm actually both win and percussion, but for me that's that's awesome if you are a percussionist or you're a color guard person and a group can take you away from your main or what you do the most to look, to look and watch something else. That's, that's major to me. It's just like Carolina crown, Carolina crowns color guard makes me forget the rest of the core. I don't know why <laughs> but they're, they're, I will forget the corp is even down there and I'll just be watching the color guard. But yeah, blue coats, um, try to make myself focus a little bit more on the percussion and when I, and blue nice to once I f- figure out what they're doing <laughs> and <laughs> stop being confused. Uh, I'll dissect them as well, but we all love blue. We love blue nights. That is, that is fair. Um, I mean, not to bite off yours, but mine, my three are probably the same. Like I said, that, the beginning of Madison Scout show just draws you in. So I'd like to hear mm-hmm. um, hear and see that more more focused in um, 
and see exactly what they're doing down there. Um, just to see what, what, what they're doing so well to have success for them mm-hmm. um, going on this season. Because right now, I think they're top 10 in uh, drums. So that's that's pretty huge. Yeah, it is. Um, and then um, Boston, just, Boston does just drag you in. Um, but I'm a blue coats. The way that their their soundscape is created, I want to I want to dig deeper into that. How to get all of that work to work because um, their percussion section is very good, but it's it doesn't it doesn't come out and grab you, which I mm-hmm. like that. Uh, mm-hmm. Like I, I I'm a fan of that. So just to see like what are you guys really doing down there that way I can appreciate it more when I see it with the battery. Yeah. Um, and then of course like. Like you said, Blue Knights, they just, with this, the way they use space and timing, um, mm. it's just, you know, what what am I missing underneath all of that? And there's, I could go on and on, but we said top three today, so we're going to leave with that top three. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is a, this is a little bit of a spinoff. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know if this is going to be on a regular schedule. This may be a, Hey, let's watch a video and put this up. So, yeah, it may be once a week, it may be fourteen times a day. I don't really know. <laughs> you'll just for real though. You'll just whenever you want to watch a video, whenever probably when one of us are bored, like, hey, let's watch a drum line video and talk about it. Yeah. Uh, so, if you like this format, let us know in the comments. Uh, like the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Uh, like I said, uh, leave some suggestions. Who do you want us? Who do you want us to watch? Uh, and give some feedback on um, it's a lot of good drumming and percussion playing out there this year so we want to make yes, sure we give as many people love uh, as possible so uh, like I said this is the uh, perk talk uh, section of this so uh, just make sure you, you're clicking and we'll probably put a link I think this was right but I'm going to do this to, just in case uh, <laughs> But there may be a, a placard or something leading you either to more of these type of episodes or even back to our original co- uh, podcast that talks about gym cores and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, who knows how often. Just be uh, click the notification button. That way yeah. you know when we come up. Because, like I said, we don't even know. <laughs> we, just, we decided yeah, but, last night we were going to do this. <laughs> yeah. You keep, you keep engaging with us and... That'll let us know yeah. how many times to keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got yeah. like 50 comments. We're like, all right, well, we're going to we'll put do another this one out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See you in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, so uh, for me, Cedric and William, uh, thanks for uh, watching and listening and doing what you want to do. And I don't know, are we going to do the dead out for this too? Or are we just going to be out? It's just going to leave. Just- <laughs> we'll, we'll, keep it. <laughs> we'll come up we'll come up with some so until next time you guys have a great day yes thank you blessings to all